I have here on my bench four old aluminum housings off various models of Mercedes-Benz. This is a water pump housing and these are thermostat housings. And they all suffer from a common malady in its corrosion right here, right where either the radiator hoses attach to these nipples or the heater hoses attach here, like right off the side of this water pump housing. Now, if you go to replace any of your radiator or heater hoses, you should be prepared to deal with this. Now, I've already filmed another video on how to fix this, and I'll put a link below in the description of this video. So I'm not gonna go into all the details, but I have found some better ways to deal with this over the years, and it has to do with the quality of the sandpaper and this anti-corrosive gel that I've started to use once I clean these areas up to keep them from corroding in the future. So I have some that are really bad. I have some here that are not so bad. And then of course I've got one here that has a great big pit in it. And that's gonna have to be dealt with or that could continue to corrode out into a larger pit causing leaks around the radiator hose on that particular neck. So I put together a kit of some really heavy duty sandpaper with cloth backing. Regular sandpaper to clean these doesn't work very well because it tends to rip and tear. So I'm going to show you now. I'm going to put this one up in the vise. We'll do this little one. And then I'm going to talk a little bit more about how we deal with this pitted area right here. The kit includes three pieces of cloth back belt sandpaper, both coarse, medium, and fine. And a small amount, this is a half ounce container partially full of anti-corrosive gel. You don't need very much of this. You'll be amazed at how far this goes. And then I do put in a piece of Scotch-Brite pad, which I feel works the best for this type of an aluminum. Now, what I'm going to recommend is do not use the coarse if you don't need to. Do not even use the medium grit if you don't need to. Start out with a fine grit and determine how deep the corrosion is. And if it's not too bad, you think you can get it out with sandpaper, then go ahead and maybe step up to the medium. Once again, don't use the real coarse because the coarser the sandpaper, the deeper the scratch is and the more you're gonna to have to work to step up to finer paper to get it smoothed out. Remember, you don't want a lot of deep scratches in this when you're done. So I'm gonna tear off a piece, just a small piece of this fine grit. Now notice this is a little bit too wide. We wanna polish from there over to here. So one of the nice things about this particular paper is that you can choose a width and just tear it like that. Then I'm gonna take and we're gonna roll it like this. See why this works so well? Once again, if you're using regular sandpaper, you're gonna do this a little bit and it's gonna tear off. So once again, with fine, let's see if we can polish this down to the aluminum. And at that point, we'll get a real close look at just how bad the pitting is. Okay. You see that? We've got some pitting in there, not too bad, but I'm gonna step up to the medium now and see if we can get that a little bit smoother, okay? So we're gonna tear this one in half. You can just hear, I'll tighten the vise up a little bit more. You know, if you do this on the car, sometimes it works quite well. You can use this to get around in underneath these nipples and they actually leave the housing on the car. All right, see that? That's not too bad, but I've got a little bit of pitting there that I think I can get out if I go ahead and use the coarse grit. So I'll tear off a piece of the coarse grit. Now you can see this gets really aggressive. And for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to go and do the whole thing. Remember when you're looking at this, if you got a couple little pits, that's okay. The main thing is you need some sort of clean surface that goes all the way around. You can't have pitting all the way out or water could weep through that area. So I'll go ahead and polish up this nipple a little bit. Okay, I think that's good enough to provide a good seal between the rubber hose and this nipple. Now I'll go ahead and step back to the medium grit.
once I smooth that out, I'll go ahead and we're going to step back to the fine. Notice how it's starting to polish now as I've stepped up to the fine grit cloth paper and I'm starting to get a little bit of a shine out of the aluminum. And then finally I'm going to finish off with this scotch bite pad. You can see it kind of tears, but just take a piece like this and then rub like this until you get it as shiny and as smooth as you like. I'm going to go ahead now and rub out on the end with just a scotch bite. Okay, for the purposes of this video, I think that demonstrates what I'm trying to do. I'll have to complete underneath and on the back side of this nipple to finish this. But for now, you get a pretty good idea how this works, how you can clean these up so that when you put the hoses back on, they're going to seal properly and not continue to corrode. So just before you put the hose on, you're going to take a small amount, and we're talking very small amount, like that amount, <laughs> and you're going to rub this into the aluminum. Remember, you don't want this greasy because you want the hose to hold on. So after I rub it in, I'll just take a shop towel and I'm going to wipe it off. Now what this does is it leaves a very fine film of anti-corrosive gel down in all those pores of the aluminum. And now see it's not greasy. So now I can clamp the hose on. That's going to give me a, a really good grip and prevent any corrosion from occurring in the future. Now when you have something like this one here with a pit, I'm going to have to polish it out. And I may be able to just polish this one out with uh, Scotch Bright to get a good look at it. See that? All right, see, that's pretty badly pitted. I probably should fill that. So I'll go through the process of cleaning that with a medium and fine paper. And then I use JB Weld. And that procedure is covered in the other video that I've done that's on YouTube. And once again, that link will be in the description of this video below. A lot of times when you find one that's not corroded very badly, you may think, oh, I can just clean that up with scotch Bright pad. You may get into it like this, and you may look at it and say, nah, that's not as clean as I thought. They tend to get this kind of calcium type of buildup on the aluminum, and you need to get that off. If you don't get that off, it'll continue to corrode. So you can see here, scotch Bright pad worked here, but I'm gonna go ahead and have to use a sandpaper. And it, see, this is the bad way to do it right here. You really want to get it so you can work the paper like this. And that's one of the purposes of including the cloth type of sandpaper in this kit. So if you're planning to replace any hoses, suspect problems like this on your older Mercedes Benz. Or if you have a housing like this, it's looking pretty bad. You know, I recommend you go ahead and get my kit with those papers and that anti-corrosive gel to clean that up. So you're not going to have leaks and other problems in the future.